Okay, folks, this will be a real dark humour piece. This will probably be really bad taste, but what can you do? Sometimes you have to have a sense of humour even when you're just laughing, and just to laugh in the dark. And let's see if we can laugh in the dark over this piece. It is dark humour, what I'm about to present. It may not go down too well with, uh, with people. But I just get exasperated and what can I do but to make some dark humour in order to um, deal with the, thing, the things that are happening in this world as we speak. And it really is, it's really... I'm just wondering how we're going to make this. But basically it really is... Um, the world is really falling apart especially with the uh, COVID-19 or the coronavirus. It's really fucking our planet. Fucking people, should I say. It's fucking our country as Australia, especially New South Wales, Sydney, where the real epicentre is. Um, in the, I think it's the southwestern suburbs is where the epicentre still sits. It started with one person in the Bondi um, started in Bondi and what do we got here we're just going to move on the Bondi cluster I know that's terrible COVID-19 clusters I think of when I see that fucking word I would never have thought it if it wasn't for COVID I would never ever have thought the meaning of this you know it just goes everywhere you know it's all over the media it's all over the, everywhere and you just can't avoid it it's like the shit's hit real and truly hit the fan when it comes to both the disease and the coverage that it gets and and it's really difficult dealing with this lockdown because I'm trying to get in touch with a lost loved one trying to get my social media going viral like COVID like the Delta strain which is the strain that seems to have taken over or it has taken over at uh, Sydney and basically yeah, we're really having a lot of troubles trying to deal with this outbreak and all I can do is make a terrible joke like that. Um, but what can I do? You, know, I just, you just get fed up with hearing it and seeing it and feeling on edge, wondering what, what, what new bombshell has arrived in, the, in, in regards to COVID. Um, it's really difficult dealing with it and it does it gives you the blues to say the least it does it makes you feel really depressed and you can't do this you can't do that you can't do this you can't do that you got to do this you got to do that i know but we have to do it that way folks because not we, we the only way out of this covid 19 shit storm is to get vaccinated you know to get vaccinated, otherwise we'll never get out of this. We'll always have to deal with lockdowns and masks and um, what else? No, lockdowns, masks, um, social distancing, QR codes, uh, takeaway instead of restaurant, uh, missing loved ones, no holidays, no travel, all that sort of shit. We, do we want that, folks? You know, we've got to fucking make a decision and make it now. And I believe in vaccination being the solution to this issue. Um, so basically, I'm really pushing to have people just to flow in the right direction and get vaccinated. I know we've had problems with AstraZeneca, which is the most popular, the most easily to get vaccine and it's made in Australia as well uh, we don't have to order it in like Pfizer and there's more there's heaps of it and people are too scared because sometimes you get the odd occasion where blood clots have happened and these blood clots are actually quite rare just to put in perspective you're more likely to die of COVID than you are of a blood clot um with AstraZeneca, the benefits outweigh the risks. And basically, we have to see that, and we're just gonna add a little bit of red. I'm not gonna go all the way like we normally do. 
but basically we have to look past that problem. You're more, if you get COVID, you're more likely to die of that. And it's easy to get. And you pass it on to your loved ones, you pass it on to your work colleagues, your friends, your family. And it's just not worth it. So you're better off getting vaccinated. And you know, taking that one in two million chance risk is, is much better than getting COVID. Um, but basically, and getting out of this lockdown is this is the only way the authorities are going to finally say, tell us that we don't need to lock down is when we finally get vaccinated. I think we need 80% vaccination rate before we can e exit this lockdown. Uh, of course, the disease will probably still be around us, but at least we'll be able to live with it and when necessary, we'll probably require booster shots later on. But basically, it's, we've got a good chance of survival if we take the vaccine, folks. Now, that looks better. I can see some yellow there. Um, so, yeah, take the vaccine, folks. It's better than playing dice with, with disease. Uh, I'm going to make this a bit more red, I do think. Um, I'm going to see what we can do with this. Um, but yeah, I, we really want to get out of this COVID, COVID um, lockdown. I really wish we could, folks. I can see it on the horizon. If everyone gets vaccinated, we can fucking stop this thing in its tracks from spreading any further and killing people. You know, yeah, you, you don't, and, and it's not just the disease itself. It, it's what happens after you've recovered. Some people get breathing, still have breathing problems. Some people have heart problems, uh, liver and kidney problems. So you don't want to get those problems post post illness, or that it sort of lingers around. It sort of persists long after your illness has passed. So you got to fucking think of that. That looks really quite interesting. It still looks a bit wishy washy. Uh, wondering if maybe. I can use a, a different colour to orange, something that will contrast against the blueberries. Um, I think orange just makes it blend a bit too much. I'm actually thinking maybe aquamarine would be nice. But yeah, it's really... I know it's not... I know, the, I know it's a, a scary thing to consider death and that people have died on AstraZeneca. But AstraZeneca is easy to get, and you know, and Pfizer is a little is or has to be imported from. The, I think it's the US. Um, so we're better off just using what we've got whenever we can, and that looks really quite nice, actually. Uh, we're going to enlarge a section out of that and make it into a nice uh, mirror image. I do wonder if we could do this better. Um, Just going to set this up for our original. We don't need to do that now, but I normally, normally I don't do it now. Uh, going at 400 for this. I don't know how that's going to work. We're going to remove that. But yeah, you're better off getting vaxxed. You know, you don't want to get COVID, and you don't want to pass it round and kill your fucking relatives or kill your family or your loved ones you know you don't want to do that folks you're more likely to die in a car crash um i'm pretty sure there's more car crashes that happen than people dying on astrazeneca so let's see how we go with this But they're the only clusters you really want to have is a note cluster, not a fucking COVID cluster, folks.
Yeah, that looks interesting. I do think we can move it around a bit. Um, I think we made it maybe. So we're going to move it up a bit. Um, but it's interesting the yeah clusters and the COVID cluster. Going to move it down. I'd much prefer an oat cluster, folks, any day. I just feel the name, the word cluster, puts me off eating it because of what it reminds me of COVID. I know I'm not going to catch COVID from eating it unless someone sneezes on it who's got COVID or whatever. But apart from that, you know, I'm not going to get COVID. I just find, I just get funny about words, folks, and meanings. And yeah, that looks really quite interesting. Wondering where the centre of the job is going to be. I think it's going to be there. Just not sure if I've got it in the right place. I'm going to move it. I don't know if I'm going to move it down or up. I'm going to move it further down. probably going to give it away I'm probably going to give it to charity or maybe someone might have it um, they look delicious I'm sure I'd enjoy eating them it's just that they remind me too much of COVID and I just don't like that I just get a bit thingy about stuff like that I just get thingy about it it's really funny why I think <laughs> the way I think is a bit strange folks um, I must admit I do, I do consider I'm a bit eccentric, uh, should I say a bit. My dad hates my artwork and so does my brother and my dad hates me and he thinks I'm, I'm a fool for doing this and basically I really find that offensive. I just say look I'm eccentric, I know, I know I'm eccentric folks um, but my father and my brother have no reason to treat me like shit because I am, you know, it's just me, I'm just like that, I'm a bit odd, a bit strange, a bit whimsical, perhaps, but basically, that's just who I am, and I can't be anyone else but me, I can't be anyone else but me, and if that means I'm eccentric, well, so be it, that's what I am, I know I'm not average Joe Blow or Joanne Blow, um, but basically I just have to be myself and yeah try to be myself and I'm trying to get in touch with a lost loved one I've probably said and he loves me as I am and I hated myself as well as my dad and my brother and I made the hatred from my dad and my brother a lot worse by hating myself so I shouldn't have hated myself because it's encouraged them to hate me even more and now I have an unsettled score with both of them. I um, hope they see my stuff and on social media and understand that I am what I am and they'll respect me if I become successful. Anyway, that looks really quite interesting. I do wonder if maybe I should do a, uh, a switcheroo. Um, maybe a switcheroo would do the job just fine I'm just going to switch it around but basically I really wish my dad and my brother could respect me as I am um, eccentricity and all um, my dad and my brother are really run-of-the-mill type people so they feel a sense of uh, offense at my eccentricity um, anyway, that looks really quite nice. I think we can do one more switcheroo, and that'll be this section in the center. And what does that make my dad and my brother if they're not eccentric? It means they're concentric. 
concentric, like concentric and eccentric circles. Yeah. And let's see how we go with this. Yeah, okay, that looks interesting as well. I think now we can call this demo quits. <laughs>